she has got incredible range as a shooter. The tip goes to Maryland. Talk about range and time and Miller sizing it up for three. Miller again, she's got the first three. She's got all six points here so far. Lisa, we just said the importance of Iowa checking off Maryland and not giving them second chance opportunities. Maryland made them pay on that. Two teams starting out red hot, 60% shooting for Maryland, 67% shooting for Iowa in their first couple of possessions. Benson, how about it? You bet. The first three point miss for either one of these teams. You saw that graphic. They started out a perfect five for five. Miller taking the contact. A three point play the old fashioned way. They've done a really good job in the last few games getting to the free throw line, averaging about six to seven attempts. Loco shot for Clark. <laughs> she makes that look like a layup. That Caitlin Clark right now is in rhythm, so look out. She's going to pull early in the shot clock. No question about it. Benson for three. That's her second three point make. She's perfect two for two. Maryland has scored on eight of its first 10 possessions. Another offensive look. Time and Miller left wide open. Three for three from three for Diamond Miller. And they split the series with Iowa last year. Iowa won at home by five in January. There's Benson again from the corner. An absolute offensive onslaught. Already a 20 point advantage. 38 points in this quarter, and Penson looking for more. Just stop it. There was a lot of energy and volume coming from the players off the bench as well. And they just keep piling it on. An and one chance here for Ashley Owusu. One rebounder in the area of possibly getting their hands on the ball. So you have to settle in and play composed. Or you could take a logo three. Early contested shots, take the open in rhythm shots instead. And she's kind of done a little bit of both so far in this first half. Katie Benson definitely in rhythm. The one dribble three point attempt. 20 of the 33 that she has scored for Iowa already. Five minutes left to play. Katie Benson not to be outdone. More depth, especially on the interior and getting Angel Reese acclimated to what Maryland wants done like that for our most beautiful Big Ten standouts presented by Auto Owners Insurance that we've seen this year. Bibby sizing it up. Just arrows flying all around the court in College Park for both Ooh, squads. Benson has tied her own record in the first half. Benson is two off of tying her career high. She got 28 against Arkansas. She's sitting with 26 points right now. They feed Sinano just beautifully done. We may give up four to six points that way, but we'll take our chances. Ashley Owusu muscling it way up for the and one for Owusu. Had to be ready if you're Kate Martin. It was almost like she was surprised by that pass. Owusu for three. It is the 13th three-point make for Maryland. Experience is different. You have to make adjustments on the fly. Have counters for the counters. Oh. Five teams in the conference are again in the top 25, and Rutgers cracking the top 25 this week. It's the ninth three-point make now for Caitlin Clark. And incredibly strong again this season. There's Diamond Miller for three, and Miller has four of those, three of them coming in the first half. She's done well for Iowa in the second half in terms of being yet another score that can knock some shots in for the Hawkeyes. Look at the flex from Monica Sinano. Absolutely. And they have to maximize the moments as all teams do, but they have to take care of their own business. Katie Benson. Miller high off the glass. With great pocket passes, right on time and on target for strong finishes in the paint. Oh boy, Taiwo, now three for three. Diamond, showing off the ball, handling moves, and the finger roll finish. It has been a phenomenal game 
by both teams. Maryland out of the gates with those 41 points in that first quarter. Set the tone for this home victory. 111 points put up.